That is the first in over 2,000 trees that I will plant today. I work as a tree planter. Every year I make the annual trek from wherever I am in the world to British Columbia, Canada, where I spend two to three months in cut blocks around the province putting trees into the ground. But what is tree planting? It's a lot of different things. For some people, it's about the challenge of planting as many trees as possible every day. Hey Ken, how many trees did you plant today? <laughs> today I planted 4,200. For others, it's about the parties. The food, and always, the people. In the most basic sense, tree planting is a job. We drive out to clear cut blocks, fill our planting bags with trees, strap them on, grab our shovel, and then keep planting until the whole clear cut is filled. Most pieces are cut like a rectangle. You start from your cache of trees that you'll bag up from. You plant a line to the back of the piece and crisscross back and forth, up and down, refilling your bags when empty until the whole thing is planted with trees. It's not always as easy as it sounds. There are bugs, rain, slash, the unrelenting heat of the day, and probably the biggest obstacle for most people, yourself. Some days are awesome. You hit that stride where your mind is blank and you just keep planting trees. But there are other days where your brain slips into something different. Yeah, I think today I'm going to think about uh, cool places to travel in the future and maybe some old sitcom episodes I haven't seen in a while. Cool, cool, cool. But uh, what if instead you think about everything you've ever done wrong in your life and throw in some childhood trauma while we're at it? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think that that's, I don't think that'd be a great, I'm not, I, I Too late, you're thinking about it. Oh. For most planters, tree planting is the beast that looms ahead of them every year. It's two to three months of the year that feels like a separate year in and of itself. And it's because so much happens. So much love and heartbreak, drama and emotion, friendships forged and sometimes broken. But you always look forward to it because of the people. You get to see good friends again. So many weird and wonderful people that you love. And no matter what has happened throughout the year, when you head back to planting, you know that they'll be there waiting for you with open arms to appreciate all the weird and wonderful quirks of who you are. But more than your good friends, they're the people that, outside of planting, you might not ever see or talk to again. But in that time and place, they also have a very special piece of your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Wastewater pond. I got the rock. Okay. I, the <laughs> rock. I got the rock, the rock, the rock. I right. and, uh, that's not a Jack Johnson song, man. The thing is, when I tell people about or think about tree planting, it's rarely about the nine to five. Because at its heart, where the magic happens is everywhere in between. <laughs>